So today we're in Wembley Park at our NEO2 and NEO3 projects. Three, we have a total of 769 residential apartments ranging from studio studios up to three beds. Um, then we also have a number of front to house spaces such as co-working, um, gym spaces, and amenity spaces for the residents within the development. The vision when the whole project started, I guess, was to really to build like a new town in, in Wembley. John Siska had been involved in the Wembley regeneration since back in 2005, and um, we've really been here ever since. We've delivered over 10 projects, and we're now on the latest project, which is North East Lands, which is an old yellow car park. So Siska, a long time user of larger technology, uh, and also the wider Hexagon portfolio of technology as well. Um, Particularly over the last two years, we've been working with them on an innovation journey to see how we can support them with their move towards a more sustainable and more autonomous way of working across the UK and Ireland. Although they're our client, we really sort of see ourselves as partners together now. Um, we negotiate these projects, um, sort of trusting each other. We come a long way together, so we, we know what they want and they know what we can deliver. Digital project delivery enables the digitisation of processes in which our projects are designed, constructed and handed over. And it's all through collaboration and innovative technology. Now, we, we try all sorts of new technology down here at Wembley and we're kind of lucky to do that. And we've got quite a young team out there, so we've got a lot of people coming from universities and stuff with new ideas. Alongside BIM and information management, innovative technology plays a pivotal role in our digital strategy. Uh, it really serves as a catalyst for our digital transformation and drives us forward in an ever-evolving digital landscape. I, it wasn't long ago now that I was actually on site with a spray can and a chalk line, putting lines down on myself. So it's just been a bit more efficient in what we do. And it's kind of getting ahead of the game, a bit more accurate as well. Uh, so traditionally, we would mark out grid lines with uh, spray paint and string line for the follow on trades to work off. On a job this size, you know, there's a lot of flaws and it becomes quite a repetitive task. So we've, we've been looking at ways of uh, improving that process. We're entering a new era in construction where technology and us uh, converge. Innovation and precision are kind of intertwined and kind of utilising groundbreaking technologies and solutions like this are really optimising the way that we work and bring more precision to what we build. One thing that's key is like we really got to move at the times. I mean, look everywhere we go, even like a delivery comes to your house and the guy's got a little iPad, beep, click, and you know it's being delivered, you get an update. So we're trying to, we're, we're trying to go paperless. So the HP Sideprint is a robotic printer. Um, it's able to mark out lines and text uh, neatly and efficiently on the ground. So yeah, so we've started using the HP Sideprint um, over the past number of weeks, setting out all the internal fit outs. So we're doing our dry lining partitions. Uh, we're using it to set out our patrices our sockets and switches on the walls, and also our RCPs. The significance of the HP site printing construction uh, cannot be underestimated. It's a type of innovation that's forcing us forward, it's empowering us to kind of push the boundaries and redefine what's possible. So we're trying to help all the coordinated information through the architect and MEP um, consultants is bring that all together in one, one set and out drawing and using that as sort of a a one hit on the floor plate so once we go out and use the printer we should have all the relevant information that we need to build an apartment um, fully coordinated. I do truly believe that the impact of this technology is, goes far beyond the boundaries of the construction site. Uh, it's going to unlock new opportunities to optimise accuracy, uh, precision and also bring programme efficiencies and speed up the build process. The HP site print and the total station work together seamlessly. Um, so you would set up the total station as you would normally uh, and there's a prism on top of the, of the printer uh, so that's how it's located. It reduces the risk of error to a degree um, because we're doing fully coordinated drawings from DWGs, from CAD, um, from Revit models etc like that so all that information is all that coordinated information is being extracted and formatted so that we can print on site. We were looking to improve our, our process, you know, of marking out grid lines for the follow-on trades. I think we've taken this one step further and we're not only, uh, you know, marking out grid lines now, but we're looking to mark out uh, flat layouts as well. Uh, so, you know, walls, bathroom pods, etc. We're looking at ways that we can build more sustainably and how we can improve the efficiency of what we do on site. And by bringing autonomous technology like the HP site print into the construction environment, it allows us to get things done correctly first time. Innovation's at the heart of our business. 
and we continue to explore new types of technology and kind of foster encourage that visionary mentality and kind of all that we do. So we've done some trial runs that we've been printing for the past number of weeks and then doing some manual checks on the set now and everything is um, it's very accurate within a couple of millimetres. The benefits are multifaceted. You, you've mentioned the boots on the ground, getting people away from certain areas of construction projects. Uh, but it's also the time saving that it gives them on site. So I think in the future, I think it can be, a, there's a, endless opportunities with it. I think if you get that buy-in early and you from an early design process, then I think it'll be hugely beneficial and be, all your coordinated information can be easily printed. It takes, instead of maybe uh, setting out engineers or setting out dry liners, spending a week to week and a half on a floor plate, you could potentially get that down to a day and a half to two days per floor plate. So efficiency and time is definitely very beneficial. No, we can look to position thousands of points in a day direct from a CAD model uh, where a, a site engineer may take a few days to position those. So if we can increase the productivity and get things positioned quicker, it allows the project to stay on, on track and on budget. It's important for us to kind of keep pushing the boundaries and to continue to deliver on this innovative approach and using technology and different types of building techniques to optimise the way we do things. It reduces the amount of time that it takes to position things on site uh, meaning that we can allow for just-in-time deliveries and make sure that things are correct when they land on site, ready to be installed.